What is up everyone, Sean here and welcome to this channel update for September and we're going to take a look back on what we did in August for, for the channel here. Um, this time for August hasn't been uh, much for in terms of like major events and stuff like that. Uh, just the typical uh, recordings for Let's Plays such as Tokyo Mirage, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, and we actually just finished up uh, Mario Warfare 2 for one controller co-op and speaking of which um that the series itself will have a major update as well but i'll get into that in a sec uh so we finished marford 2 and i'm gonna get that edited and all that stuff hopefully i can get that up in september and all that good stuff and we're gonna actually go into uh, monitor 3 uh pretty soon so uh, thank you guys for uh, taking a look at those videos and we're gonna continue with them. We're having fun with them. So uh, We're definitely gonna continue it and uh, When it and when it comes to the series itself uh, one kind con control co-op uh, I actually uh, Was thinking of changing the name itself to something simpler such as control uh, controller hugs uh, especially because you know uh, the term of control hug is kind of a thing on the internet so and it's also kind of like an easier thing to say controller hugs so i'm deciding to change the name to controller hugs just simply because it's a shorter name it's simpler to say and it gets the job done so um controller hugs for those who don't know is the same exact term uh as two guys can contro one controller that type of thing where you hold or two guys have their hands on one controller and they try to play the game that way um, while controlling other some you know when one person controls uh, some of the actions uh, while the other controls the rest of them and they get and it can get chaotic and uh, that's you know this is like the whole point of the video um, but for the most part they're really fun to do and uh, me, myself and Danny are having a good time doing that so again we're, we're con uh, continuing to do that uh, but after several videos, uh, the, you'll no notice the name changing, and I think starting from Monitor Three, it's uh, definitely going to change into Controller Hugs. So um, please look forward to that, and uh, thank you guys uh, so much for uh, taking a look at those uh, videos. So so that's it for the update on uh, that for uh, Controller Hugs, or formerly known as One Controller Co-op. Back to video editing stuff. I'm actually editing a few more things for the uh, Maximilian Dude channel and, all, um, and uh, taking some stuff from the video video, video games uh, streams. I'm actually editing Split Second as of right now. And um, it's actually almost uh, pretty much almost done. I just have to add in some music and stuff like that and then kind of tinker around with um, some of the, the humor for it. So... Uh, that's gonna hopefully come out soon, and uh, please look forward to that. Uh, it's it's been always fun to work on the hyper rage videos or just compilations in general. Um, it's just I don't know, it's just another way for me to kind of express myself in that media. So um, it's just it's just really fun, and uh, I'm really glad to hear all the positive feedback from you guys. Uh, really always means a lot, and I'm definitely gonna continue um, as much as I can and. Uh, with, and it also depends on the game itself too, whatever they play and whatever material I can, you know, gather from that and hopefully I can make something out of that. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do after Split Second. Um, I was actually probably thinking of doing Mario Party 3 and or Mario Golf. Um, I don't know. Um, but it all depends on um, what I see, what the material I can grab from, what kind of ideas I can just you know conjure up and stuff like that so um but but nonetheless i'll try to continue to do more uh, hyper rages for the future now when it comes to real life stuff that's happened in august uh i actually uh did some more things to my room and because of the things that are coming up in september i actually you know went and uh bought some things and um actually and it actually is going to help me throughout throughout the future for this channel um, one thing is that I actually bought this table right here. I'm actually using to kind of lean on. Um, it's actually kind of, kind of feels pretty cool to have a table and then kind of talk to you guys, uh, with it, but, um, definitely helps with the posture as well. But 
the reason why I actually bought this table is because uh, I do have uh, product reviews coming up in September that are actually brought to you by from the companies themselves and they're not really sponsors or anything, anything like that but it's just kind of like a one-time opportunity type of thing from uh, from two companies uh, one of them is Brooks uh, they they make converters for controllers or keyboards uh, depending on your application or whatever it is that you want to do uh, so um, for example they have converters where you can use a let's say um, an Xbox fight stick to play on the PS4 or and or PS3, they have the converters for them. They kind of like they kind of look like USB drive flash drives. They can just slip into your computer and it just it's like really tiny. It's not even not even much to it, but the function is really awesome. And the converters have been uh, from what I've heard uh, really good comparing to uh, another one. Uh, I forgot the name what it was. It's something something to do with oh Cronus Max. There you go. Cronus Max was another one when it comes to like controller converters and stuff like that. Um, I've heard that Cronus Max had its own problems. Um, Brooks is literally plug and play. Um, my friend Ender Gamma can tell me about that, and um, he's also actually uh, nominated for that too. So we both have opportunities for our, both of our channels to review. This product that's coming up, it's it's, um, it's only referred as Project S. And from what I've heard uh, and what I believe, uh, it's going to it's going to allow us to use our keyboards to play on the PS4. So this would be really good, or in theory, it might be really good for first-person shooters so that we have like a, a mouse, an actual mouse and keyboard for us to use on consoles so we can play something like Overwatch or the upcoming Call of Duty or you know battlefield one whatever uh fps is on the console can be used with key, uh, keyboard and mouse with this upcoming converter um hope i'm really looking forward to it and hopefully i um i uh hopefully the product will be good and i can tell you guys that the product, that the product is good and all that um but i believe in brooks and i can pretty much trust them and um it's not it's gonna be one of those like paid videos where um you know we're, we have to say you know certain things and stuff like that it's actually you know they're just they're essentially just giving us the product we review it with our honest opinion about it um as long as we are fair with our criticism and stuff like that we actually are criticizing the product uh we're not just like you know hating on it or anything anything like that um they're fine with it for well, um brooks, brooks is totally fine with that so that um this really is a really cool opportunity and i really want to thank brooks for that and I'm really looking forward to the product in September for myself to review. And um, so uh, please look for, forward to that video uh, in September. So this table is here for that. Uh, I can actually use the keyboard and mouse to um, do, the, do the, the actual uh, review and uh, demonstration of the Project S from Brooks. And uh, I actually uh, realized that I can actually also use this table for future product reviews as well. Uh, anything that you know I buy myself and or uh, uh, the unboxing videos as well. The unboxing videos will be really, uh, you know, be a, be a lot easier for me to do on a table. It's um, you know nice co neutral white color to it, you know, like this. And um, uh, so things will be a lot easier for me when it comes to unboxing. Now I, have to, I don't have to do it on my bed anymore. You know, it's all wrinkly and messy and stuff like that. You don't have to see that anymore. Uh, now I can see it on this table as I'm unboxing for Loot Crate or Amiibos or just anything. And I can also do product reviews on this table as well. So um, it all worked out. And this table wasn't too bad. It's not It's not a big-ass table or anything like that. I can fold it. I can, like, just store it on top of my uh, loft bed and um, this was like 20 bucks so um, not too bad of a purchase and uh, really looking forward to using this table for um, a lot of things um, in the future for this channel the other company I actually can't pronounce the name because uh, I'm pretty bad with names at times so uh, but anyways it's a company that makes uh, power banks and they actually reached out to me and contact me contacted me um, very recently and they asked me to review some of their products, so uh, I actually I actually uh, went ahead and do, did that, and I chose two products, and those are coming pretty soon. So uh, 
I don't know how long it's going to take considering that I have to actually use the product and kind of give me a um, good amount of time with it and come up with a verdict for them. And so uh, I really can't say how long it's going to take, but it might uh, wind up in September. Um, who knows? It is. Uh, I am getting two products from them, so I am going to have some time to take for me to um, really, you know, get down to it and get those reviews done for those products. So it might be by the uh, late um, by by the end of August or early September. So, but nonetheless, it'll happen, and I'm really happy to do that as well. Um, it's just really random. It's just kind of weird. Like I just reviewed some products that uh, I really liked, and I really wanted to express my opinion on it, make a video about it, and just share it to YouTube. And now, um, you know, a random company uh, actually went, you know, went out and contacted me to review their product so it's i don't know it's actually it's actually a really cool thing really cool feeling and hopefully i can get more companies to contact me but i don't know um but anyways nonetheless um those videos are coming so really looking forward to those products that i'm gonna uh, review for them and um again and again this is a this also is a very similar situation with brooks it's not a paid sponsorship type of video they're just essentially giving me the product and i'm and i review it with my honest opinion about it so um again as long as i'm uh fair about it uh things should be fine so there are also other updates that i did to my room uh i actually rearranged some things uh around uh around my desk as well so let me actually move around the camera and show you guys what i'm talking about so let me actually turn over here so as you can see uh my monitor is still right there my asus monitor but it's actually uh mounted on my desk on the side right there so you see one of the nails right there or screws um let me just move the camera down so yeah see it looks like it's kind of floating you see some cables you know uh dangling down um so yeah, I actually was able to mount the uh, monitor to my desk and I have my camera right there and you can see my Audacity recording right now as I'm recording this video. Um, and I still have my iMac right there in the middle, of course, that's important. But I also have an old friend back in my room. This is another iMac, but it's a much older iMac. It's a 2009 model. It's much older. The tech inside of it is much more obsolete. And the operating system is like a step back. It's like I think it's like Yosemite or something like that for OS X. But um, what I'm doing with this is uh, using it as a capture computer for certain situations. So when I'm doing a, a Let's Play for um, like you know Tokyo Mirage or Twilight Princess, um, I do that through Skype, and um, I do I use Skype on this computer. Um, I also stream my gameplay through Skype so that uh, my you know partners or co co let's players can see it and um, don't uh, and I don't have to capture it on that computer anymore because you know so that way it doesn't take up as much resources. I can capture it all on that computer so that um, that way I can have high, pretty high quality footage. At the same time, I can use my uh, HD sixty S for the Mac. Uh, because the recording aspect of that is a little jank. It's still kind of like a public beta type of thing. Um, but it works for what it is. It's a very good um, uh, device to you know show your friends. You know Because the game view is instant, because of that, there's no delay. And uh, my, my friends can actually help me out with the gameplay and stuff like that. They're not going to see um, the gameplay you know, 1.5 seconds later. So this... None of that weird stuff going on anymore. And uh, I actually tested out the setup with my friend Quiet, or AKA Chris, as we were playing uh, Twilight Princess, and I was able to capture it on that computer successfully, and it didn't even uh, have any problems recording as well. So really happy with this uh, setup. Um, and definitely this uh, setup is really helping me out uh, streaming as well. Um, I've been uh, trying to set up uh, with art streaming and it looks and it works really well I can actually use that um, computer for the chat and then 
I, I do Photoshop on that, of course, and I use that monitor for references. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just using some my old computer to get that job done. Uh, really, been really, really helping me out. Um, and also when it comes to streaming, uh, the HD60S was actually working on the Mac. I think I've already said that in July, but I'll probably say it again just in case. Um, the Mac uh, actually uh, has a version now so that you can use the HD60S for Macs. Uh, it's still kind of like a beta in, in its beta stage. So um, let me actually go back in. So some of the flaws I've noticed for the uh, Mac version or OS X version is that um, you like the capture file doesn't really come out as clean as uh, one would like it to be, especially for the low uh, with the lowest uh, megabits per second being or uh, or recording or quality setting being 23 megabits per second as the lowest, which is really big to me anyway. Which is which means ten gigs an hour, and the file isn't even that great looking, so uh, that's why I actually use that just for streaming purposes, and it and it, and uh, it does offer me that instant game view, so that's why it's really good for me to uh, use as a streaming device rather than a capturing device um, for Max anyway, and uh, that's why I'm happy on on some parts and I'm not happy on other parts as well. But it, it, it can improve over time, and I'm, uh, I believe that Elgato will get on that for the Mac version. So the Mac version is well, will be on par with the Windows version, and uh, hopefully everyone can, can be happy, including myself. But nonetheless, I'm really happy with this setup. Um, you know, recording has been really good. Um, and now, you know, especially with, uh, you know, uh, recording over Skype and stuff like that with my friends things will be a lot easier and it, they, I think things will go a lot smoother. Um, without this, we've I've already ran into like some technical difficulties with the SG6CS. Like I said, if, because of the video um, or the capture file not coming out as clean, it also came, um, came out to a point where it was stuttering, it was just completely unusable and actually we actually had to do a uh, redo a recording so uh, that that um, that had to suck, but it wasn't the worst situation. I've been into I've been in worse situations when it comes to recording gameplay and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna go into um, too deep into that. Um, so that's why this this setup is gonna help me out a lot when it comes to that and also streaming. So yeah, uh, definitely future recordings and stuff like that is gonna be a lot easier, uh, especially when I do it do that through Skype. So as I mentioned streaming earlier, I've been streaming uh, more often. I've been trying to at least, you know, do two streams a week, one one with art and one with gaming. So, uh, they, but they're still kind of coming out on random days uh, because of my schedule has been, you know, really, really random. Um, you know, recording with people can be, you know, kind of, kind of get ju uh, juggled around. So that's why my streaming schedule is not consistent. So I can't really have a consistent schedule. So. Uh, you just have to check it on, check on Twitter to uh, you know know when I'm streaming, and uh, I, w I will put out a video like a little small video that I am streaming and stuff like that. Um, I, I definitely will do that uh, for the upcoming Fallout 4 DLC, uh, Nuko World. I'm really excited for that, and I'm uh, very much looking forward to it uh, to streaming it as well. And hopefully, I, I see you guys on uh, on the stream. One thing for sure is that I don't really don't have to get a PC just to stream now. Uh, I, I actually was trying to see if I can get a, get myself a PC just to stream and play games on it. But I may still get a PC in the future, but it's definitely not soon because I don't really don't have to. Um, I And I don't really feel like I have to game on the PC because all the games I want are on console. So... Um, there's no need for that for now. Um, and especially with HD60S working on Max now, which is really awesome, by the way, um, because I really don't have to adjust anything on OBS. It's just, it's it's been consistently in sync. So I can actually just really stream easily with the HD60S, with the Mac. So gaming, 
gaming streams and art uh no sorry gaming streams are definitely going to be a lot more um easier to do and it's and i i'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot more fun to do as well but like i said before it does still have its imperfections but i do believe elgato will get on that and iron out all the little kinks in the software for mac and um and like i said before make everyone happy so i think it's pretty much it for august what i've been doing and stuff like that um including streaming including uh my room and i got me getting this table and um i've already mentioned things that are coming up in september but uh, there are things that um uh, coming up in september when it comes to games so uh, we are definitely going to come out with Overcooked. Uh, I actually recorded a number of videos with my friends playing Overcooked. And it's really it's a really fun game playing with your friends locally. So um, definitely we really want to see um, show that um, in September. Uh, and it will come out as like sort of like a, a, a we have fun video. So it's pretty much going to be like we uh, we have fun guys play you know, we've done it before, but they're not really games. They're just, they're like board games or, you know, kind of like we, we've even done, uh, we have done a drinking game, uh, King's Cup. And I kind of tested it out with that and I don't know, it seems to work for me. So that's why uh, we will have not only Nintendo stuff, but we will have other things that we play as well, just with a slightly different name. I think it's good to have variety. So that's why I'm really, uh, really happy that I'm able to do this and uh, looks like it seems like it's working out and uh, we'll definitely continue that in the future. Final Fantasy was supposed to come out this month or this upcoming month, September, but it was delayed to November. So we're definitely not going to have videos of Final Fantasy anytime soon, but we will have Final Fantasy videos in the future. Nonetheless, uh, probably going to play that with Justin for a let's play. I don't know how long we're going to go for, for, for that, but I'm really trying to finish up Kingdom Hearts. Um, just don't know when to do that. Just there are just so many games I want to complete as well for this channel, and I don't know. It, it's just it's just gonna be kind of a spontaneous thing, and hopefully we can get that out of the way soon. So especially especially with the other remakes coming up for Kingdom Hearts before Kingdom Hearts three, and it's gonna have a a a, a, a prologue demo for Kingdom Hearts three. So really can't wait, and um, hopefully I I can get my hands on it as soon as it comes out. I don't like this stuff. But otherwise, there aren't really games coming out in September that I really want to go for. All of them are in either October, November, December. Those are the three months. And of course, those are pretty much holiday season uh, months. So um, those are all the, when all the games come out. Um, I'm not really sure about games like uh, Paper Mario. I don't know. It's just something I've been kind of thinking about but at the same time I should probably focus on other games such as Final Fantasy um, I really want to get Battlefield 1 it looks really fun and I also played at E3 and I have had a pretty good time with it and I'm also looking forward to Call of Duty just because I'm you know really curious about it and also just really curious about the HD remastered edition of Call of Duty 4 really want to know what the re uh, multiplayer is going to be like and also I really want to take a look at <clears throat> And I really want to take a look at the uh, single-player campaign mode for that. So uh, hopefully it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really good on the PS4. I almost forgot to mention that I actually went ahead and up update the Patreon so that there's actually something for you for you guys to see. And when it comes to like the rewards and stuff like that, so check that out. And um, it's not again, it's not super obligated or anything like that. It's just when you know if you feel generous, you can give something in any amount per month. And it's really highly appreciated, as always. And um, again, it's all up to you. Another huge update I almost forgot to mention is that I'm actually going to Japan uh, pretty soon in September. So that means uh, during that week there will be no we have fun video, and I actually have uh, I'll actually uh, put up another video that to you know to remind you guys, hey, I'm going on vacation. Uh, we're, we're not gonna have we have fun for this week. So. Uh, I'm only so again. I'm only gonna be gone for a week. It's just a vacation with my family, just for, uh, visiting my grand, uh, my grandfather and stuff like that in Japan. And um, we're also gonna, you know, just make the best of it and have fun, uh, eat some good food and all that great stuff. So after that, 
though I'm really going to kick up myself to find some jobs or whatever. And I actually will start doing art commissions. Uh, I, uh, I actually set up a, a page that shows all the prices and rules. And um, as soon as I get that done, and I think it's ready to show, I'll uh, update it via Twitter. I'll also update it uh, on YouTube channel in a separate video as well for you guys to see. And I also have it on my Demon Art, and that's where you. It's like it's like the central like information center, pretty much. And uh, hopefully, I, I hope you guys have the time to check it out and see what you guys like. Um, and maybe hopefully we can work out something. Um, so all the pricing and stuff like that is is still not final, but for the most part, it's kind of it's kind of there. And uh, hopefully, uh, you guys find something you like to see. And of course, I'll always update my T Public website, where I, you know, put up the artwork and stuff like that. I do from my streams, and uh, I put it on shirts and stuff like that for you guys to see. And if you, and, you, and if you guys really like that, you can buy it for a pretty fair price. And um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And that site has a, a number of sales often, so uh, be sure to check back on that whenever a sale happens. And uh, that's pr pretty much when you can really take the opportunity to get those shirts at a really, really good deal. So September is where, you know, I kind of take a little break, but at the same time, I'm really gonna kick myself, you know, get myself started on my real life stuff and really try to get myself a job, whether it's part-time or full-time, whatever. Um, just, you know, as long as I can make money to really start my, you know, start my, next chapter of my life and uh, hopefully we can get things going so i don't know this uh you know just really excited scared curious a lot of things going on in my mind for the future but hey that's life um like i said in previous updates uh for this channel so um i think that's pretty much it uh, i can't really think of anything else for me to uh mention to you guys other than me streaming more um, going to Japan, uh, doing the product reviews from certain companies, um, you know, real life stuff, you know, like getting a job and all that, all that. Um, yeah, uh, it's just, I don't know, it, it's, uh, it's just really, it was really getting me thinking as of late, but, you know, gotta, gotta keep moving forward and uh, hopefully, um, you know, stuff happens for the good, both my real life and this channel as well. And, you know, to you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this channel update for September and reviewing on August. So you guys have been always been so awesome to really, you know, stick around for any, any of the content I put out and, uh, the continuing numbers that are growing for the subscriber count and, um, the viewership is still pretty good. So just really looking forward to what the future has to ha uh, offer for me. And uh, it just, again, it got, it's, it's just always getting me thinking. So uh, if you have any comments, thoughts, opinions, uh, yeah, leave me down below in the comment section. And um, always like, share, subscribe for my videos for this channel. I always highly appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Thank you. That's all I got to say. So. Um, thank you guys again for watching this video. So again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video, stream, whatever it is. I'll see you then. Peace out.